Hello, Dottie. Oh, buddy, no. Buddy, no. Sorry about that. Buddy, that's not a toy. Buddy's going to help out a little bit. Uh, buddy, no, stop, stop. This is what happens when you try to do a video with the goats in the pen. We're trying to do this. This is supposed to be a quick video. Buddy, no, no. No, buddy. Go play with the kids. Go play with the kids. Hello, Dottie. Dottie's over here, too. Anyway. Oh, this is Mom H with Honey Hollow Homestead. There goes Sheba. Oh, well, I know it's been longer than what I like getting a new video out. It's been, it's been a crazy week. Uh, as you can see behind me, there's Cinnamon and there's her baby boy. Nobody. Uh, he was born on the 21st. Okay. And uh, she just had the single, which is fine. He's a big boy, but he's doing very well. He's sticking close to his mom. Mumu, this is not a toy for you either. Hello, my dear boy. Oh, come here. Come here. There's Mumu's boy. Yep. Okay. Who's behind me? Buddy? I tell you. Oh. And here comes Angel. You coming up too? Come on. Come here, Angel. Any other time, the kids just run away from me. Uh, now they're all coming around. And a cat. Yes. Buddy? Buddy, you better not start with that, okay? Uh, so anyway, um... She did well. She she was almost in a sh in shock about everything that went on. I mean, she was she was younger than what I wanted her to be for breeding, but uh, Paul and Cinnamon had other ideas. So, uh, needless to say, she is a first time mom. What are you doing, huh, my boy? Here, I'm sitting on their toy. I think that's what what they're upset. What he's upset about. Um, anyway, but that was the happy news. We also have some sad news. Um, I lost Lily last night. Lily is Maggie's mom. And she is, she's still looking for her. Uh, she had been kind of off. Um, she's a little thin. She's kind of off. I thought maybe it was um, because Maggie was still nursing on her and I didn't realize it. Uh, and so she was being depleted. Uh, her her eyes looked good. She didn't have a fever right away, but she did. A couple days ago, I checked her again. Yes, she had a fever. Friday, she came in from being out with the other goats. And hello, Brute. Yes, this is Brute. Okay. Uh, and uh, she was... Uh, she sounded congested. So I started treating her as best I could for pneumonia. Body, quit. And, uh, of course, Friday night, I couldn't get a vet. You cannot get a vet around here on the weekends. There's just no way. And I did what I could. I gave her antibiotics. I gave her... B complex and I gave her an an antihistamine. Um, I could not find an appropriate expectorant, which is what was recommended on uh, Tennessee Meat Goats website. I did everything I could. Uh, even Saturday night, I was out there picking leaves off of uh, the briars um, that were up high. I got them down and I was just because there's not very many leaves out right now. Okay. And that was the best thing for her. She wasn't eating very well. So I did the best I could. Considering I cannot get a vet. So. That brings me to. 
this is a serious problem. It's not just Kentucky. This is nationwide. We have a shortage of large animal vets who will come to the farm. This is a major issue. I know Kentucky is doing their best to try to uh, remedy the situation. However, uh, it's not easy. For one thing, they're just not vets. It, um, they want to go into small animal business uh, practice because it's more lucrative, for one thing. It pays better. Um, there's not that mu there's not as much money in a country vet that will come out to the farm and deal with livestock. There's just not as much money in it. And I understand that. But this is becoming a major issue, especially considering the United States changed the regulations to where you cannot get antibiotics unless you get it through a vet. Okay? And it's near impossible. That's mercy. Messing with the tripod now. People, I strongly encourage your kids to get into, you know, uh, being a country vet. Uh, Kentucky is uh, another, uh, mercy don't, another um, aspect of uh, department in Kentucky. It, 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 we've got different uh, agencies that are working on this problem. And I'm sure the same thing is happening in other states as well. Um, there's incentive programs. There's um, buyback programs for the for tuition. They're trying to get a veterinary school going. Um, all these things they're trying to take care of this shortage. But you know, it puts us small farmers in a very difficult position. I'm not a vet. I have some experience with doctoring horses. Goats I'm fairly new to, and I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Um, yes, I've lost two to listeriosis, and uh, that's something that it's a disease that's in the soil. Uh, you can't detect it. You can't test for it to see if, it's, if you have it or where it is or anything like that. There's no vaccination for it, uh, and the mortality rate is extremely high. Um, now, what I think Lily had was pneumonia, and that could be because she was depleted from nursing. Uh, she hadn't rebuilt. She was nursing way too long, and I did not realize it. Um, I thought that I had successfully weaned her off her mother, but her mother was letting her nurse still. And uh, she just, and she wasn't. When it came to feeding time, she was not getting in there with the other goats to eat from the feed trough, okay? She was like, too much too much going on, and she would back off. I tried feeding her separately, uh, you know, thinking that's all it was, and it there was something more to it. But I don't know for sure. I don't even know where to go to get a necropsy. I'm not... Even if I tried to do it myself, I wouldn't know what I was looking at, you know. I'm wondering if maybe they could set up some kind of classes or something to help us small farmers be able to handle taking care of our livestock better when it, when it comes to illnesses. Um, I don't know. It would be really great. And to get rid of the stupid regulation where you can't get, get a... Um, an antibiotic without a prescription okay I'm sorry there's just too much that we have we're forced to do on our own okay because the vets that they say we have to use they are not there they do not exist okay I have a vet that I can talk to on the phone or take an animal to Monday through Friday okay Weekends are out, holidays are out, okay? What are you supposed to do? Animals do not get sick just Monday to Friday. And I'm sorry. 
if there's some kind of a training program that was offered, I'd certainly be interested in it. If, but I, I'm limited. I can't go away. Okay. I can't spend a week in a classroom off somewhere. Okay. It's just something I can't do. And online, well, I get constant interruptions here at home. Okay. So I don't know how successful an online, besides you can't do hands on online. So I don't know what the solution is, but maybe somebody else has an idea. But, you know, maybe if we all put our minds together, maybe we can come up with something. Okay. Now, I am very quickly losing daylight. Uh, the sun's gone over the ridge. And it's the temperature is starting to drop. But I wanted to let, at least let you see. We do have some happiness going on. You know. The kids, they're having fun. There's 10. That, that makes 10 kids on the ground. Uh, seven girls, three boys, okay, and they have brought a lot of joy, even though we've had some sadness this weekend. <sighs> Lily will be missed because she was very sweet. So anyway, this is Mom H with Honey Hollow Homestead, and I will talk to y'all later.